We are in Patmos, Greece today. And this is a beautiful island in the Aegean Sea, population about 3,000. This is going to be a great day. We're off to see the top five sites in Patmos. Number one, the St. John Monastery and the adjoining Theotokos Chapel. Number two, Zudocious PG Convent. Three, the old Patmos Windmills, built in 1588. Number four, the Apocalypse Cave. And number five, Patmos itself, just strolling around, checking out this beautiful island. For our visit to Patmos, we hired an absolutely sensational guide, Carolyn Antonia. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're in Patmos. Uh, my name is Carolyn Antonia, and I'm uh, very uh, luckily guiding this, uh, this couple here. And we're going to have see all the little nooks and crannies of Patmos. We're now outside the monastery of St. John the Theologian, built in the 11th century. The medieval St. John Monastery looks a lot more like a fortress than a house of prayer. Back in 95 AD, St. John the Evangelist was banished by the Romans to the island of Patmos. Nearly 1,000 years later, the Byzantine Emperor Alexios Komnenos authorized St. Christodoulos, an abbot from Asia Minor, to erect a monastery in memory and honor of St. John. Within the St. John Monastery is the Theotokos Chapel. It has frescoes dating back to the 12th century. Keep in mind that you're looking at 1,000-year-old frescoes that have been exposed to the elements for those thousand years. There were signs prohibiting photography inside the chapel, but I think the real treasures are these exterior frescoes. Stop number two is the Zudocious PG Convent. The convent was built back in 1607. Currently, there are about 15 nuns who live here. Our guide, who actually goes to church at this convent, mentioned that the nuns occupy their time with needlework, preaching, guiding tourists, and so on. Cells that they live, you know, they're yeah. called cells, just a simple room. So they live, each one in their own. So it's not under we are now on the roof of the convent. We are walking over now to see the Potmos windmills. Patmos windmills were built back in 1588. They have long since been abandoned and they were originally used to grind wheat. Our guide mentioned that a local entrepreneur 
is restoring the windmills and there is actually a small museum inside of the middle windmill you see right here. And the views from the top are pretty amazing. Fourth stop is the Cave of the Apocalypse, where the final chapter of the New Testament was revealed to John the Apostle. This cave was the home of the evangelist and is now surrounded by a monastery and a school of theology. Stop number five is technically not a stop at all. It's strolling around the beautiful island of Patmos. What a fun day in Patmos, Greece. You know, if you press me as to what my favorite was, it would be the St. John Monastery because of the fantastic thousand-year-old frescoes.